Hey guys, Trister Beast here. In today's video, I'm here to talk about a game I don't talk about very often, which is Call of War. Uh, Call of War is a game that occupies the fifth most viewed video on my channel, so it, it only makes sense for me to come back to it every so often. I just really haven't seen a reason or anything I can make content-wise on it in a while, but for once, I actually do have something to talk about, and that is the Dominion Antarctica mode, my thoughts on it, and yeah. So let's get into this. In the game mode, Dominion Antarctica, you play as a random country from around the basically Cold War era who is trying to storm the evil bad boy uh, World War II German bases in Antarctica. Uh... Basically, you need to storm seven of these bases, and whichever country controls all seven will win after a certain number of days. However, there's a couple of catches here. First of all, you cannot form coalitions, meaning any alliances you make are just on paper, meaning anyone can betray you at any moment should they decide to do so. The second thing that is important here is only one player can win, so back to that alliances thing. You're going to need to be careful with who you ally with because every only one player can win in the end of the day. Um, the next issue that is uh, arguably a bigger issue is you're probably thinking, why do you need alliances? Well, in this mode, you're fighting against basically a Soviet-sized Germany. Um, well, yes, they don't really have as many cities or as strong of an industry. They have a lot of soldiers that are all Axis Doctrine. And they will wallop you if you're not careful. Um, the AI is very focused on encirclements and will not really push into your territory, but will do anything they can to keep you out of their territory. And that normally spells out that if one player tries to fight alone, uh, it very quickly goes downhill. The other thing to remember here is while you're busy handling them, uh, the other players still exist and they might try to you know handle you so it's pretty much a very delicate balancing act of pushing towards the objectives trying to beat back the enemy cities while also not getting your temporary allies to attack you until you're perfectly ready it is a lot of managing it is arguably the hardest mode I've played in Call of War and honestly one of the most fun I think it's a very interesting concept um, all in all, I think it is one of the best modes they've ever come up with for this game. It is the most unique to the base game mode. So if you're someone who is tired of the base game mode, this runs Call of War 1.5 Doctrines. So if you're someone that's a fan of the Doctrines, but it's also very unique gameplay wise in that it's not going to be, you know, somewhat similar, uh, maps and somewhat similar countries Nah, we got a bunch of brand new countries that are not used in any other game mode, and you're in Antarctica, which is in literally no other map. Um, what else can I say while I'm here? The biggest advice I would give if you're someone that wants to play this is really plan out what you want to do. If you be aggressive early on, make sure you can sustain that. Make sure your front lines are reinforced. Make sure you're not going to get encircled. Make sure that people that border you aren't going to declare on you. If you're going to play very reserved. Make sure you play reserved to get something. Make sure your economy is growing. Make sure your industry is growing because you're going to need to eventually go after those research bunkers. Make sure you don't come out of being reserved too late because then... It won't matter because the person might already control all seven research bunkers. Um, yeah, it's it's a lot to handle, but I know a lot of you who are skilled Call of War players probably have no problem winning this mode at all. But that's just my thoughts. I'm currently playing around, and if you guys would like to see my playthrough of said round, I would be down to making one or two videos about it. Just say so in the comments. But uh, if not, that's also perfectly fine, and I plan on making more Call of War videos eventually. They're just not going to be very common, because I really don't know what to talk about in this game. So if you guys have any ideas on what I can talk about, let me know about that as well. Till then, this has been Christopher Beast, and I hope to see you all next time.